3, you, we could spend five years in that chapter. Um, and I didn't even read verse 17. I only focused in on verse 18. But you could spend two months just on this verse. Verse 18, there's so much in here. The idea is that with the Holy Spirit in our lives, He not only gives us this freedom, freedom from death and destruction, but we also live a life of glory to glory. In the Holy Spirit, being transformed by the Spirit, we go from glory to glory. Let me unpack that phrase for you a little bit. Glory to glory. The same image from glory to glory, just as from the Lord, the Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is in you and I, because we are born again, we are transformed to a state that we can see God's glory. You cannot see God's glory before you are born again. You have to be born again first, and then all of a sudden, because the Holy Spirit has transformed you, you can see God's glory. You see God's glory in who he is and what he is doing. And it's too bad that we're too distracted and we don't spend enough time focused in on the glory of the Lord, who he is and what he is doing. I love sunrises and sunsets, and I don't just admire the colors like some kind of painter or poet. When I see a beautiful sunrise and sunset, I see a manifestation of the glory of the Lord. And I can only do that because I've been transformed by the Spirit. To be fair, I see the same thing in the midst of a thunderstorm. When it's raining cats and dogs, and the wind is blowing, and lightning. You can see the glory of the Lord even in the storm. The lightning is light in the midst of darkness. The boom is the power of God. And the wind reminds me of the presence and working of the Holy Spirit. Bring on the thunderstorm, because there's a sermon in there. And that reminds me that when we are transformed in Jesus Christ, even when we are living our life in the middle of the storm, whatever that storm of life may be, we can still see the glory of God in the midst of the storm of life that's got us down. Because of this transformation of the Holy Spirit in us, because of this freedom, we can see the glory of God. We can see the glory of God in everyday things. We can behold His glory. But we are also supposed to be the glory of God. As the Holy Spirit works in us, and we submit, surrender, and sacrifice to him. And we are made more and more like Jesus. Then we become more and more of a mirror. Oh wait, there's a mirror in this verse. We become more and more like a mirror. And the glory of God shines on us to those around us. And so that when saints get together... We can see the glory of God in each other, reflected by holiness and godly character, more Jesus-like in us. And so all of a sudden we're encouraged in the midst of that transformation. If you can be this much like Jesus, then there's hope for me. It's a powerful, powerful idea, my friend, for us to be the glory of God. You become more glorious in Jesus when you walk in godliness and holiness. When it's about more of His will and less of your will. More Him, less you. Because it's not really about you anyway. The glory of the Lord shines more in the mirror that is us when we grow to greater submission. Greater sacrifice, greater surrender. Then we experience more and more freedom and transformation in Jesus Christ because we have been born again. 
praise be the saints for all that God has done to us and for us. Freedom and transformation. Being born again. May we walk in its power, my friends. 